What's up, you guys? Welcome to my page, Camille's Weight Loss Journey. Um, I'm so excited um, today. Why? Because it's my first month thing. I'm just going to get straight to the <laughs> to the nitty gritty. I'm not even going to uh, beat all around the bush. And today, my mukbang is different. Um, I don't have a lot of fattening foods today. I may have one fattening dish, um, but um, I didn't add any oils to it. So, today I'm going to have my version of Olive Garden salad. And I'm also, I made um, oven uh, baked uh, lemon pep pepper wings, chicken wings. And so I'm so excited. Before I start, I wanted to um, just shout out to everybody who's been supportive. Um, you guys are so amazing. You guys are so great. Uh, I was trying to get this, this stuff together and I just felt bad because I didn't have a camera right off. I didn't have all the right things and lighting, but my kitchen will do good for right now. So first, let me just say this. Um, I just want to give a quote of the day or I want to give a, a special encouragement of the day. Um, and I know everyone is going through um, a lot of things right now in their lives, um, but I'm telling you to go an extra mile for a stranger that you do not know. There are people who are going through so much. You know, I was in the grocery store and the cashier, she was so evil looking. I'm just like, well, okay. I mean, she didn't say hey, so I took the initiative and I said hi. And uh, so she smiled a little bit and she told me she had a long day. And um, to me, it kind of like broke the ice. She was struggling. She was going through a lot. And sometimes we think people are just mean. Well, people are going through and... Just go the extra mile to say hello. Go the extra mile to encourage someone. Go the extra mile to, um, you know, do something for, open the door for someone. If you see an elderly, um, you know, holding bags, help them put it in the car. You know, we're just living in an age right now when people are evil. So, that's all I wanted to say. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm hungry. Um, this is Miss Dash tape, uh, Table Blend. I don't know if you guys can see it. You know, my glasses off because I'm hot. And I'm going to add a little bit of my Parmesan cheese. I should have done this before I did the video. But, hey, it is what it is. So, what do you guys do today? Um, my my parents, I live with my parents. We stay on the same roof. And that's kind of uh, <laughs> complicated. But I love uh, living with my parents. I think they're great people. They're going on a cruise. My daughter is with her godparents. And so I have a kid-free, parent-free house. And the only thing of the person that's here is my doggy son. And his name is Max. You probably see him standing. You might hear him make a couple of noise when he see me eat something. Because he's going to want to, um, you know, this is funny. I'm struggling, you guys, with this cheese. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm struggling with this cheese. You guys, um... I just tell you, I had a very rough week. Very, 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 very rough week. Um, I've been struggling to eat right. I think for me, I know everybody's, I mean, everybody can get up and go exercise, but for me, it's nutrition. It's, for me, a mental thing. And I'm going to add some of my um, Olive Garden. I'm going to add a little, just a tiny bit, just enough, not a whole lot. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a struggle um to eat right. It's a struggle to be in the surrounding of people who uh they're eating whatever they want. And you can look at food. Oh, this is so good, you guys. Look at all this stuff. All these greens and veggies. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you guys eventually will. Uh yeah, everybody's eating whatever they want to eat. Hold on one second, God we Thank you for the food. I thank you for the food. I'm about to receive a lot of nourishment to my body. You know, and pray, man. Uh, everybody's eating whatever they want to eat. Um, I look at food. And I can gain 40 pounds. And it's so crazy. And I wish that I had the metabolism. Well, I can eat whatever I want to eat. And not gain weight, but unfortunately, that's not the case for me. <laughs> so, 
comes a bit leaf. <laughs> that was a huge leaf. <laughs> and so, uh, I'm in a pre-diabetic class at the YMCA. And even learning about what I can eat and what I can't eat, what is appropriate, what is not, is killing me. It's killing me. Um, I don't understand. Um, first of all, how I got this big. Of course I do. But um, it didn't happen overnight. It seemed like it did, but it didn't um, It didn't happen overnight. And I know that losing this weight is not going to happen overnight. So it is what it is. You know? So, um... I had took a break from the class. I kind of wish I had not done that. Everybody was responsible for losing 7% of their weight. And so, you know, me being me, I had a lot of stuff going on in my life. I had my family graduations and birthday parties and my business and my students piano recital it was so much going on oh my god it was just caving up you know coming all in at one time and, and food became my my comfort comfort and i mean i'm sure everybody else deals with the same thing you know when you're stressed out when so many things happen at one time you don't even think about it food is just like your your best friend you know it's sad but it is it's the case that's the truth and so I came back and everybody lost weight but me and that motivated me. Um, actually, I cried when I went back. And all of my class, on friends from the pre-diabetic class lost so much weight. It hurt me to the core. Um, one, because I think I'm the youngest one in the class. I'm 34. Everybody else is like maybe 40s or one up. And I didn't even set the example. You know, so... I should have been representing for the 30s, 30 year olds, but I couldn't do it. Yeah. So now I'm back with a vengeance. You cannot stop me now. Ain't no way. I'm going to fight. I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Why? I have a seven-year-old. I have so much to live for. I have a business that I have to keep afloat. And, you know, I know people say this. Now, I want to talk to you guys about appearance. People will tell me, oh, appearance is not really everything. You know, people love you for who you are. But that's not true. I had people come and want to meet me for um, to take lessons from me out of my business and my voice sounds different <laughs> on the phone my god it's good on the phone my voice sounds so different oh my god she sounds so professional she sounds so skinny people when they meet me it's like <gasps> like who is this person this is not who i thought was on the phone so that's another reason why I want to lose weight. People, appearance is everything. You know, I applaud big girls who dress real nice. But for whatever reason, I don't care how nice you dress. I don't care how clean you are. Makeup. People will look at your size. I don't agree with it, but it is what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> I want to set examples for my students. Um, my business name is Sounds of Excellence Music Academy. And I want to portray or display excellence. And if my excellence is not good in my life, if I eat whatever I want, if I can't control my eating, stop control. What 
examples am I setting for my daughter? What examples am I, am I setting for my students? Or even people who look up to me. You know, um, it's rough and it's hard, but you guys, I'm going to press my way. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. Excuse me. <laughs> so... Sorry, I want to overload. <laughs> so, I am just determined. 